One of the things that keeps coming up about HTML email is the way that Gmail renders some of these emails. So I've pulled up my Gmail account and I'm going to open up my uh, HTML email that I sent to myself and uh, I'll notice here that there's this little white line in between the graphics. And if you have a graphic intensive HTML email, these lines are going to show up everywhere and really kind of mess up your design. And there are a couple of ways to deal with this. So um, in order to do that, I'm going to jump back over here into my Dreamweaver and go over uh, what you need to do. Basically, what we want to tell our HTML code to do is to shrink wrap the graphics within the table so that there are so that we override Gmail's tendency and also some of the other online email services tendency to add a couple of pixels of white space between the graphics. Now we're going to do a couple of things. If you uh, go out and do a search on the internet, you'll see a lot of uh, posts that suggest that you add a style display block to the uh, each image code and that's a good uh, inline style method to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that um, snippet of code into each image in my HTML email. And uh, I've had some success with that. However, in this case, we're using an HTML email that includes both images and text. So um, we're still going to have the problem if we leave it there. The next thing to do is to actually come back up to the table uh, settings itself and reset the line space to zero for the overall table. So we do that again by using the style line height zero. So I'm going to hit refresh here and uh, I'm going to run you through an example. What, what you'll see is that um, this is going to work but it's going to have an unintended consequence and in just a second I'm going to show you how to fix that. So I'm going to save this as HTML email Gmail spaces. Okay, so I'm going to jump over into my email. I'm going to select, I'm going to attach my code once again as text and send that on its way. Come over here to Gmail, give it a second for my email to show up, and here we go. So you'll see now that my white space is gone, but the problem is that all of the text in my text cell has all been squished together with a zero line space. So if my email is strictly graphics, this isn't a problem, but if my email contains some text like this one does, it is. So now we'll go back over into Dreamweaver and come down into the cell where I actually have my text. And here we're going to override that style by making the line space back to one. So we're going to go style line height one file save that. And now we'll jump back into email. Call this Gmail space problem corrected for images and text. Attach my file. Insert as text again and send it on its way. And now, voila, it's rendering exactly the way that we want it to with our text looking just the way it's supposed to but no annoying white gaps in the Gmail email. So there we've solved that problem by using the inline style block um, attribute for each image, setting the overall table line height to zero, and overriding that line height in the text cell of your HTML email by setting it to one.